Hi guys, welcome to Fully Charged. I'm Lewis, the showroom manager. Um, so today we are going to be giving you a quick start guide on how to set up your turn GSD. For all your latest e-bike tips, news and tricks, uh, please do like and subscribe to our YouTube channel. It really does mean the world to us. This YouTube tutorial applies to all turn GSD bikes with either the Purian or Intruvia displays and the Bosch Power Pack batteries. Now, the first thing to mention, all of this detail is supplied with your bike in the manuals. So if you do have any further questions, please refer to the manuals or use the TURNS website, which has a whole host of information. So firstly, we're gonna be looking at the, the Bosch electric system of the bike, the brakes, the gearing. Then we're gonna go into a bit more detail on the various accessories you can have with your GSD. Um, and then we do have some frequently asked questions at the end. So the first thing to mention uh, before you set off on your first ride is to make sure, pardon the pun, but your bike is fully charged. Um, if you're picking it up in store, the bike will be fully charged. If you're having it delivered, uh, we actually can't deliver them with a fully charged battery, so you will need to charge it before your first journey. Every turn GSD comes with a battery charger. Now there's two, depending on your model, there's two types. You've either got the four amp, which is the standard, or the six amp, which is your fast charger. Charging the battery on the bike, you need to locate your charging port, which can be found under the dust cover. Firstly, connect the charger to the e-bike, then connect to the mains. Your Bosch display will confirm that the bike is charging. The charging plug is asymmetric, so it can't be charged incorrectly. To charge the battery off the bike, you first need to remove the battery using your keys. The keys for your GSD are found in the front wheel lock, which is located here. So, depending on your model, you either have a 400 watt hour, 500 watt hour um, or if you do have the R14 it does come with two 500 watt hour batteries as standard. Now all models you can add a second battery. To remove your battery power pack you need to locate the key lock on the battery mount, twist anti-clockwise and lift the battery out. Your charging port is located at the bottom of the battery so you can take the battery inside to charge. To put your battery back on the bike locate the male connector push down onto the top connector and your battery will click into place. Depending on the size of the battery and which charger you have, it typically takes anywhere between three to five hours for a full charge. Um, you can check your battery status on your display. Top tip, so your battery generally has a life cycle of 500 full charges. Um, so depending on uses, we see maybe two to five years, but it can be, can be more, can be less. It totally depends on you. So we do also recommend um, if you're not going to be using the bike for an extended period of time, um, do leave the battery at sort of 60 to 80 percent. Uh, they don't like being stored at the top or at the bottom. Also, uh, your Bosch battery doesn't like extreme temperatures. Um, so sort of leaving it in a car on a really hot day in the summer isn't recommended. Um, and my general rule of thumb is if it's below zero, I bring the battery pack in overnight. If you'd like to understand more about the batteries, we do have further articles on our website and Bosch have quite detailed articles on their site too. Turn in your bike on with your Purin display, press here. Turn in your bike on with your Intuvia display, press here. With the Intuvia amount, you do need to make sure it's properly connected before turning the bike on. If it isn't connected, the bike will not function. You know if it's connected if your speedometer shows. So each display will show you how fast the bike is going, battery range, odometer, battery status, trip distance, and assistance mode. For the bikes with Purium, press and hold the minus button to display different information. For your Intuvia, press the I button to scroll through the various pages. This button can be located here or here. With the R14, do make sure you remove the Intuvia display when locking the bike up. The Purion is not removable and is fixed to the bike. Turning the lights on. So with the Purion models, you need to flick a switch located here. The R14 has its own quick switch located next to the left handlebar. Now your rear light will always stay on when the bike is switched on. Um, and the rear light does also act as a brake light. So as soon as you press those brakes, you know you can be seen. You have five levels of assistance. Off, Eco, Tour, Sport and Turbo. Now Turbo offering the most, eco offering the least. So the higher level of assistance you are in, the more demand will be placed on the motor and the battery, so you will get less range. Now the GSD is designed to carry either kids, cargo, so we do find most people tend to stick to sport and turbo. 
Now, all turn GSD models come with the cargo line motor, which offers 400% assistance with 85 newton meters of torque. Now, a quick tip. When you're pulled away from a set of traffic lights, we do recommend dropping down to a lower gear. Now, for the S10 LR and LX, you will need to preempt this. For the S00 and R14, you can change down when you're stationary at the lights. Just setting off in a lower gear puts much less stress through the bike's components. Now, the range on the bikes does vary dependent on what model, and there's a whole array of factors such as rider weight, the load you're carrying, the terrain you're cycling in. Um, so for more accurate information, do visit the Bosch website where you can find a handy calculator to predict your range. So just the last thing to mention on the cargo line motor, one of the common questions we get in store is how good is it on a hill? Uh, we sell lots of these bikes all over the UK and I've never known anyone to have an issue getting up any hill in the UK. Gearing. There's four different models in the GSD range. The S10 LR, S10 LX, the S00 and the R14. Now, S10 stands for Speed 10. This comes with a 10-speed Dior derailleur setup. Top tin for those of you with the S10s. When changing gear, you do need to have the pedals in motion. You cannot change gear while stationary. Because um, this does come with a chain, obviously it is protected with the chain guard, but it may acquire occasional cleaning and lubrication. On to the S00. So this comes with the MVO low gearing, which is essentially one long continuous gear. You can constantly tweak and adjust. Now a top tip for this one is when you are changing gear, just to ease off the pedals completely. This does put a lot less strain through the cable and the rear hub, so it helps with longevity. The S00 comes with the Gates Carbon Delt Drive. This is a oil-free, rust-free, maintenance-free solution. We typically only need to service these every 10,000 miles. The R14 comes with a 14-speed roll-off electronic hub. You have 14 speeds, so this model is really designed for those long trips, especially to hilly areas. You've got a greater range of gears. Um, so yeah, you shift up using the plus button. It does automatically shift down for you when you get to a set of lights. Just like the S00, the R14 does come with the Gates carbon belt drive. Again, zero oil, zero maintenance, incredibly hassle-free. Um, yeah, this is the top of the range bike. You buy this, you really do not need to worry about the gear and setup. Each GSD comes with front suspension, uh, which can be locked or unlocked, dependent on driver preference and the terrain you're in. Each GSD model comes with the front wheel lock as standard. Uh, for more information on how to use this, do refer to your manual. We do recommend also buying a secondary lock. Uh, for more information on this, please visit fullycharged.com. We've done videos with hip lock, so you can see an entire range of upper locks. All GSD models come with Magura hydraulic disc brakes. Uh, these are one of the best brakes for e-bikes on the market. They require very little maintenance. Uh, we do find, dependent on usage, you may need to replace the brake pads once or twice a year. Tire pressure for your turn GSD can be lo found located on the side walls of your tires. Um, as you can see here, it does state 30 to 55 PSI. Uh, mechanics do set it up at 40 PSI. Your GSDs are designed to fit an array of rider heights, um, so they have got a few key features to make adaptions, which I'm going to go over with you now. The handlebars are adjustable, um, so you can be in a more sporty or a bit more of an upright riding position. With your GSD, you can collapse the handlebars and the stem. To do this, uh, you push the red button up and push the black lever forward. In order to put the handlebar down, you need to turn the wheel clockwise. To secure the handlebar, you can find the strap located here, which needs to connect to the knob here. Now, front loading cargo, you can either have the transporter front rack or the hauler rack, which are mounted here. If you're collecting your bike from store, these accessories will be fitted for you. If you're opting for home delivery, you may need to fit them yourselves. Further information on how to do so can be found in your manuals. All GSDs come with a rear kickstand. This is super useful if you're loading the bike with either cargo or your kids are climbing on it. It's super stable and super strong. When you're ready to set off, press the lever, which is located on the left-hand side of your handlebar. In order for you to engage a kickstand, simply push down with your foot and roll the bike back. 
Saddle height. So, tire GSDs are designed to fit anyone from 4 foot 11 to 6 foot 4. There's two quick release adapters located on the seat tube, so you can make these adjustments. Storage. The turn GSD can be stored vertically. To do this, you will need to press the rear brake. Now, as we're in the UK, it will be on the left-hand side and slowly walk the bike backwards until it's vertical on its rear axis. Now, if you have the Clubhouse Plus with the expansion bar, you won't be able to do this feature. Now, frequently asked questions. One of the most common is, how do I lift the bike? So, top tip, do not lift using this handle here. This is for your kids to hold on to when they're sat on the back. To lift it, I always either grab sort of the front fork and one of the main parts of the frame. How do I set up insurance? So, we have actually done a YouTube video on this um, and you can find the whole page on our website. We recommend PedalShore. Now you do get your first 30 days for free, so do make sure you sign up. How often should I service my bike? Now, here at Fully Charge, if you are local to us, we do offer a free six week health check. Um, but generally, it does vary on usage, but we recommend every eight months. You can bring your bike here to London Bridge, where we have a 10,000 square foot service centre, or you can check out our other locations in the UK. Another question we get is, are there any additional parts I will need to replace over time? So to be honest, the most common one is because it's an e-bike and your carrying rate will be your brake pads. If you're going for one of the S10 models, do account for a chain replacement as well. But apart from that, to be honest, your tyres are pretty much bulletproof, so it's very rare that you will get a puncture. Um, apart from that, they're pretty incredibly low maintenance bikes. Accessories. So the Clubhouse Plus is probably the most popular accessory we do here at Fully Charged. Um, so there are a couple of options with the Clubhouse Plus. So this one, um, as you can see, you've got the Jet Maxi on the back. If you are planning on carrying two kids and one being in a Jet Maxi, you will need the Clubhouse expansion bar. Um, if your kids are slightly older and you don't need a Jet Maxi, you can just have the standard Clubhouse bar on the back. Um, and yeah, they can hold onto the sides. The clubhouse without the expansion bar can fit a 600 by 400 Euro crate uh, for all your cargo needs. So as you can see, this one comes installed with the captain's chair. This is typically for sort of the older, older kid. It can also come with either um, the turn joyride bars or the sidekick bars, so they can hold onto either here or at the side. Or to be honest, a lot of kids just sort of hold on to the rear of the captain's chair. Alternatively, quite good for a small adult. Now remember, it's 80 kg, so I mean, I think I'll, I'll be all right. This setup here, um, obviously we've got the transporter front rack, the clubhouse, um, and yeah, we've got the Turns uh, Cargo 52 panniers. Uh, 52 stands for 52 litres, so they're massive. They come as a set. Um, as you can see, they are designed um, with the Let Maxi for sort of the kids seats to go in them. Um, there's still loads of room for all of your shopping and school bags. So the Stormbox is a great alternative to the Cargo 52 Pandas. So again, it's designed for sort of kids to sort of fit into or great for carrying cargo. To fit the Stormbox, you do need to have the, uh, the wide decks installed at the bottom of the foot plates and the Clubhouse Plus. In addition to this, you can also add the Storm Shield, uh, which is the big cover to prevent rain and wind. Now, accessories, so the, what have we have just gone over is sort of the most popular ones we do here at Fully Charge. There is a whole host of other accessories. There's accessories for dogs. I mean, if we were to go over them all, we'd probably, this would be an hour long video and you'd all switch off. So we're keeping it short. If you do have any specific questions on any of the other accessories, give us a call, visit the TURN website, our website, and we'd love to help you. Now guys, thank you so much for joining us um, and watching this how-to quick start guide for your TURN GSD. Um, yeah, we really hope you enjoy the bike. Please do send us some pictures at Fully Charged UK on Instagram. We love seeing your journeys and your adventures.